Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. All right, y'all, let's make a fluffy bow. So we're gonna start with some wired ribbon. You need to make sure that you have quite a bit of ribbon, especially depending on what size bow you make, you might need a lot, possibly even a whole row. So we're gonna start by just making a little loop and you're gonna give that two twists. Now we're gonna separate the ends and spread out that loop and just stick our thumb in the middle of it so that we have two pieces kind of separated out. So you've got your short piece and then the piece that's attached to the roll. You're gonna take that long end and you're gonna make a loop. This is one's gonna be a little bit bigger than that middle one. And you're just gonna give it one half twist. This is to keep um, the pattern on the top as well as give it a bow like look where it's cinched in the middle so then you go to the other side and you do the same thing you do another loop the same size as that first one that you did then we're going to go back to the other side and this time you're going to make it a little bit bigger and then you'll go back again to the other side and this time you'll make that one the same size as the other one you're basically just going to keep repeating yourself going back and forth from side to side until you achieve the look that you want. It's really important to make sure that you hold on tight to your bow as you go using your finger and your thumb. And um, you just keep, as you going, as you get going, you'll make your loops a little bit bigger um, each time, just a smidge in order to create that bow-like shape. Um, and going back and forth, back and forth, making sure to give that one twist every time and keeping a tight hold on your ribbon. After you get it to the size that you want, you can keep going as much as you want. You can have as many loops as you want. I try to have an odd number of loops on the sides, but it really doesn't matter. You just do it until you're happy with the way it looks. So then we're just gonna cut it off and we're gonna grab another piece of ribbon. This piece doesn't have to be very long. We're gonna use this piece to tie it together. We're gonna come right through that loop with that ribbon, right through the loop on the top, and then we're gonna cinch it together, holding it tight, flip it over, keep good hold on it with your fingers while you're trying to tie it if you can get someone to help you do this definitely get someone to help you so that you don't um, lose your bow and then you're going to tie it super tight you can also use a pipe cleaner for this um, but i feel like the ribbon get, allows you to get a really good tight tie on there so you just tie it super tight don't worry about smashing your bow because you're able to come back and fluff it back up so now we're just going to get all the tails, make sure they're all going to one direction and straighten them out, fluff them up a little bit. We're going to then go in and fluff up the bow. You can just come in, fix all your little loops, straighten them out at the base of them and just kind of mess with it. You're able to kind of move your loops around a little bit in order to get the look that you want. Um, so after you do this part, you're pretty much done with your bow. All you need to do is go in to the ends and just trim the ends. Give yourself a little dovetail on the um, tails of the bow and you're going to have a super cute, beautiful bow. These types of bows are amazing on wreaths. They are um, really great to put to use at Christmas time. You can put them on your tree. You can use them on a stairwell or a banister. Um, use them outside to put on your porch there's so many different things that you can do with these types of bows knowing how to make these bows is just a really great trick to have so thanks for watching i hope you all enjoyed this one